As we know, Ali was the ultimate showman. One of the most charismatic athletes of all time. And when Ali went to Japan in 1975 and talked to the president of the Amateur Wrestling Association, he was still a showman. He told them, you got any Oriental fighters to challenge me? I'll give them a million dollars if they beat me. So this man, not, probably not knowing that Ali was probably joking, he sent out an open challenge to all the wrestlers out there. And one of the wrestlers out there that took up the challenge was Antonio Noki. And he wanted to fight Ali. And this fight got signed in March of 1976. Ali made $6 million and Inoki made $4 million. What Ali and Bob Arum, who was promoting this fight, who set it up, they thought it was going to be a wrestling match, a pro wrestling match. Fake. It was going to be a work and it was just going to be a lot of fun. But no, Inoki and his promoters wanted a real fight. They wanted a real thing, a wrestler versus a boxer. So Muhammad Ali had to lay the ground rules. He wasn't going to do any suplexes, no headbutts, no blows below the belt, no knees, and no open hand eye attacks. So what turned out, what could have been a cool idea if it was a work, if it was in the boundaries of professional wrestling, it could have been a lot of fun, especially because of Ali. The promotion for this was awesome. It was it was very interesting. Uh, Ali actually went to the WWF and got in the ring with Gorilla Monsoon, and it was a lot of fun. Gorilla Monsoon picked him up, did an airplane spin, and dropped Ali hard on the mat. <laughs> and he, yeah, he had to get carried off by Herbert Muhammad. Uh, it, it was funny. That was for the promotion was good. It was gold because Ali was gold. Ali could have been a very good professional wrestler after his career. If unfortunately he unfortunately ended up happening, him getting Parkinson. If he hadn't, he could have had a great career as a professional wrestler because people go well into their fifties into professional wrestling. He could have been a great manager too. So he entered the ring with Classy Freddie Blassie and it was fun until the actual fight where Inoki spent most of the most of the fight. It, it went 15 rounds too, by the way. <laughs> Inoki spent most of the time laying on his back trying to kick Ali, kicking him in the legs. Uh, Angelo Dundee had to tape uh, Inoki's boots because his laces were, were slapping Ali's legs and his legs started to bleed. And it, it was it was a weird, weird event. Ali had to go to the hospital because his bleeding on his legs got infection. And it, it, it is said that he almost had to get him amputated. That's how bad the that's how bad the infection was. And he got blood clots on his legs. Th this event almost ended his career. He had to fight he had to fight Norton in a few months. It was June 25th, 1976 when this fight happened. So Ali, <laughs> Ali, the professional wrestler. 